Hi, Minerva. Um, we are standing here in a sort of office, I see, and it's called Mejovida Corporation. Um, can you explain a little bit more what it is about? Sure. Well, the Better Life Corporation is a project that started in 98. Mm -hmm. So it's already 10 years mm -hmm. of um, running this uh, project company. And, well, in short, it's a, a non-for-profit corporation. Mm -hmm. And as part of it, I think the most attractive thing is uh, that every product and service is for free. So, uh, well, here we have student ID cards for anyone that uh, wants a student ID. Even if you're not a student. Yes, of course. It's, uh, mm -hmm. well, even better if you even are not better, a yeah. registered yeah. student. And um, we take uh, the photo, we make the whole process. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then you they really can make the, the cards very personal. Yes, yeah. at the end uh, you get a, a student ID that is valid for three years. So we are doing that and mm -hmm. we are also making recommendation letters. That's another product that you mm -hmm. and give. Okay. Well, it's more or less the same process. We don't need to uh, really know who's getting the recommendation letter. It's just... Uh, you just provide them. the, the, the mm -hmm. name and mm -hmm. they and are giving okay. a, a letter. Mm -hmm. And it is a project that originally started in Mexico? Yes, it's... Um, I think very much a uh, uh, urban project. Mm -hmm. no? It's a reaction to uh, the urban system. Uh, the neoliberal system also? Yes, we could, could say it's related to also to oppose all this uh, boom of capitalist uh, mm -hmm. companies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, because what you're actually doing is you're um, making a sort of copy of a big capitalist the strategies, corporation, no, like the strategies, the yeah. presence online, and, mm -hmm. and I used to have an office space in Mexico okay. City. Does it still exist or not? No. Uh, not at the moment. Mm -hmm. Everything is through uh, the website, mm -hmm. but uh, it was uh, in a very well-known building, like a um, skyscraper in, in Mexico, okay. that is the symbol of modernity. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, it became very much uh, an autonomous project. I don't mm -hmm. need to publicize it or mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. do anything. Mm -hmm. People just know about the cards, for example, and they keep asking mm -hmm. online for them. Okay. So, yeah, that's, that's very good that after all these years, it's autonomous. Mm -hmm. And can you uh, give me some, some more examples of products and services that you provide? Mm -hmm. Well, it was, I think, uh, the subway tickets, one of the first ones. It was also in Mexico, then, uh, yes. related to the context of the city, I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, yeah as a 15 million people <laughs> living yeah. in the city, uh, public transport is a main mm -hmm. uh, issue there. But um, other things like uh, barcode stickers, having popular in many different countries, not very much like the student ID card, it's mm -hmm. international, it works well in different uh, contexts. So for the uh, barcode stickers, the aim is to lower the price of some basic products, vegetables, uh, fruit, uh, basic mm -hmm. food. Mm -hmm. So. I go and do this service in supermarkets and what I do is I change the barcode for one that also works in the same way but uh, with a lower price. Mm -hmm. So when okay. people buy, I don't know, carrots, they get At a very lower yeah. prices. Yeah, yeah. And um, well, it's something you cannot really see, you don't notice that there mm -hmm. is something mm -hmm. different mm -hmm. in the package because yeah. it's only the barcode, this uh, black and white. So these are very um, small interventions actually in yeah. the lives in of, fact of ordinary people. In fact, it's subtle, you don't see yeah. it, but as supermarkets are relying on technology, mm -hmm. well, that's the way 
Um, it mm -hmm. happens, no? Mm -hmm. it, the discount is when you actually pay and you scan the yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, those are other examples. And would you, would you say that this product is a sort of um, form of social activism or not? Or how do you see this? Mm, I didn't um, start it with, uh, with activism in mind. I know mm -hmm. um, well, activism usually has very specific uh, aims and uh, usually you could say you have a result if a campaign mm -hmm. is successful mm -hmm. or not and i think this project is in the terrain of art and uh, that's why it's possible it uses other channels and mm -hmm. i think it's uh, finding the gap of freedom yeah you know, just yeah. daring yeah. to do this and um, uh, the student id cards they work very well because they are inserted uh, in a system where you only have to uh, prove something. Mm -hmm. they, they don't come from any other mm -hmm. university. Mm -hmm. They are not mm -hmm. fake mm -hmm. cards. So it's just uh, me validating someone as a student yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. feels the condition not to get a discount or something. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I have my first student ID card now and I will Good. try to use Great. it and I will let you know if it works. <laughs> sure. Okay, thank you.